Hey guys, it's Selena and I'm here making my second video with my beauty secrets and I'm gonna show you what I do for an evening look. I love to light candles. It's just like super, I don't know, romantic, if that makes sense. Gets me in the mood. Um, one of my favorite essential oils is the patchouli oil. It's super calming and usually I put some right here on my wrist. I'm gonna use the Sephora Cucumber Eye Mask. My sister has like 18 of these. She's probably more of the beauty guru now and she's eight years old. She's kind of cooler than me. I like to start with a nice eye patch to get rid of any inflammation. While I'm doing that, I'm going to use my Tatcha Dewy Serum. It's one of my favorites. I have to wash my face before I apply makeup. It's just, it bothers me, I guess. Like I just need to have a clean, you know, canvas to start. Canvas, what am I, like fancy? <laughs> First, I'm gonna start with my pore diffusing primer. One of the most important things, like I, I can't go a, like a day without listening to some of my favorite music. And I have to say, that's a big part of it. So we're gonna have a dance break real quick. I think the most important part of, you know, my beauty and my routine is working out. I think it's just um, as, as miserable as it can be for me. I think it helps me mentally. It helps me physically, of course, but just keeps me in a good headspace. That's something that I think is a part of a beauty routine and it should be. I'm going to move on to my foundation. So a little goes a long way. And I like to do a circular motion when I'm putting on my foundation. I don't know why, it's like soothing, but also for me, it's in every corner, little crevice. When I was younger, I loved playing with intense makeup, like colors and even my, um, foundation I used to put on a lot and it would be it would be fun and of course like it was it was like just what I was into but the older I've gotten the more I realized that less is more and that it makes me feel sexier when I don't have as much makeup on you don't need it to look beautiful because you already are beautiful I'm gonna go back in and touch up a little bit more When I have any sort of breakouts, I'm not gonna lie, I love the toothpaste. <laughs> For some reason, that's what I used when I was like 17, and it's just a trick that works. All right, I'm gonna move on to my concealer. This is one of my favorite products as well because I can just use my concealer if I feel like it, going into the problem areas, doing a little light coverage, or like I'm gonna do today, we're gonna have tons of coverage because I'm going out. I'm so, so excited to share this with you guys. This has a powder kind of wax material, as you can see. When you pull out, you have the brush. When you take that off, you have a little brush. Isn't it so cute? I'm so excited. I'm gonna take a little bit of that um, darker color. For a long time, this was actually the only way I knew how to do my brows. I'm going to move on to my liquid shadow. This is one of my favorite colors. I like how the mauve looks on my eye color. I have brown eyes and I think it makes them pop.
when I am just every day going to the studio, hanging out, I'm usually just wearing concealer and a um, little blush. But when I go out, this is the time when I can try new things. I can use my, my eyeliner, my colors, sparkles, and it's just fun to add a little bit of that when you're getting ready to go out and have a fun night. I'm gonna go for my Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Eyeliner. It is a staple for me to try and do the wing look. Now, I am good at it, but sometimes I just, I just can't do it. The cat eye look for me happened when I got a little older. I love the way that it shapes my eyes when I wear my hair up. It also really kind of gives me this snatch look, if you will. Nothing completes the eye look, of course, without mascara. We spent so much time on this because we considered every lash type. So whether it's straight down, really curly, very thin. After I put mascara on, I curl them. It's such a bad habit to do it after, but right before it dries, I kind of like to give it a good curl. Blush in mauve. One time I was in the mall and I had my mask on and I went to Sephora, mm, love Sephora. And these two girls were walking past me and they were like, you know, Rare Beauty, their liner is just so good and affordable. And I like sat over there and I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Cause it's like the most honest you can, you know, they have no idea I was there, but I, I got so excited to hear them talk about the brand. Before I apply bronzer, I want to tell you a funny story about a little self tanner. For the Met Gala, I was, <laughs> I was getting ready and we wanted to add some color. So put on some of this like tanning lotion and it, you know, looked really beautiful and very even. Um, as the evening kept going on, it was getting a little darker and darker and I didn't notice it. And I'm at the back Gala, basically one of the most prestige, beautiful, you know, events. And I'm walking, trying to look all beautiful. And I look at a photo of myself when I sit down and I'm completely orange. <laughs> And I was like, this is gonna be terrible because I'm gonna get eaten alive about this. So I had my security take a video of me because my first reaction was just to get the hell out of there. <laughs> and so I'm running to my car and I'm literally just like hauling ass to get to my car. And then, um, and I put it on online and I was saying this is my reaction after seeing my Met Gala photos. <laughs> Okay, with that said, I'm not gonna apply too much of this. Go over it a little. I think it's always like a nice sun-kissed feeling. I don't like to be in the sun a lot. Um, kind of, well, two reasons. I have lupus, so getting a lot of sun exposure, you know, isn't necessarily the best. So I live by a good bronzer. Positive Light Liquid Luminizer. This one is my favorite color. It's Mesmerize. Um, I end up using this one just because of the tint of little pink and I love that it has a touch of gold as well. When I'm doing a music video, I have opportunities to create an eye look that you know, could be so cool and futuristic and, and like bright neon. And then when I'm on the red carpet, I'll do maybe a nice soft smoky brown color. And then at night, if I wanna go out with my friends, I'll do the wing look and apply some color. It just depends, but I have so much fun with it. And me and my friends, when we're together, all we do is just play. We also just love to make sure that we all feel good before anything else, you know? Because that's what's important. 
as long as you feel good about you. I'm gonna go in with my concealer and just reapply just so that it's extra coverage. Matte lip cream. This is in mauve. I think I'm gonna add a little more color to my eyes. So recently I went blonde and I had the best time. I think I'm definitely more of a character when I'm blonde. Um, I felt like I could do crazy looks with my hair. I could, you know, try new things with my makeup. Um, and it was just so much fun. I think that for a little bit, it was hard to keep up with, but um, yeah, I don't know. I felt so cool and edgy and it was just a whole phase that I went through. I'm honestly missing it, not gonna lie. Blonde Selena is not gone forever, I will tell you that. <laughs> Four in one Optimus. All right, guys, that is my look for the night. I wish I had a date, but I don't. Um, so until then, <laughs> I will see you guys for the next Beauty Secrets. Hope you enjoyed this one and have a great day.